Argali irrigation system of Palpa is one of the unique examples of locally managed irrigation system. It has been sustainably managed for close to 500 years based on local indigenous knowledge and practices. Building on the 4th century old knowledge and practice that was used to construct the oldest main canal, JT Kulo, the local communities have added three more, Maili, Saili and Kanchi Kulo. All canals demonstrate sophisticated canal design including tunnels through rocky slopes, an intricate water distribution system that carries its own essence of traditional knowledge, skills and practices. What started as the then King Mani Mukunda Sain's initiative to irrigate farms to cultivate rice for meeting the local needs of Rishikesh temples, religious functions and pilgrims has become a sort of global knowledge village now. The Argali irrigation system structure has also gained historical importance due to its generational practice of collective actions. अनौठो छ अचम्म छ हामीलाई आफैले अचम्म लाग्दछ हाम्रो यो पानी वितरणको जुन प्रोग्राम जुन व्यवस्थापन हाम्रा पुर्खाहरूले 400 400 वर्ष अगाडिबाट गर्दिनु भो अब त्यो दिमागलाई हामीले सदा हामी ऋणी छम हामी कृतज्ञ छम हामी प्रश्न गर्छौ त्यसलाई हामी परिवर्तन गर्न नपरिकन अहिलेको व्यवस्थामा पनि त्यही ढङ्गले हाम्रो सिचाई प्रणाली जीवन्त छ र हामीले चाहिँ गौरव गरेका छौ in Argali irrigation system, there are many indigenous and traditional knowledge and practices that sustain the system. Four canals are aligned without affecting water distribution. Keys or wooden weirs, locally termed as Pani Sacho, are designed to allocate and distribute water equitably. <laughs> र हामी एकैसँग बनाउँछौ कसैलाई गएर उको मात्र धेरै पानी चाहियो कोतिर पोतेको भाइहरु सल्लाह गरेर मात्र पानी जान्छ मात्र मात्र कम भयो त्यो एकैतिर गयो पानी भर्छ त्यो सल्लाहले हामी जे पनि गर्छौ त्यो सल्लाहले यहाँ केही पनि हुँदैन देयर आर ट्रेडिशनल टूल्स टु फिल्टर ट्रैशेस आउट एन्ड मिनिमाइज ब्लॉकेज कम्युनिटी स्टिल प्रैक्टिस एन एज ओल्ड ट्रेडिशन अफ कुलारा और कुलो कराउने for regular maintenance of the canal. Hundreds of years ago, the canals were constructed by drilling tunnels through rocks and tunnels are big enough to allow people to do regular cleaning and maintenance. The locally trained technicians who work on the canals function like modern day engineers. The Argali irrigation system can be taken as an example of an adaptive and resilient system. Over the last few years, the canals have been renovated and reconstructed using iron rods and cement lining in some parts. This shows local community co-opting modern technologies. Such integration has helped in stopping water leakage and increasing water yield. <laughs> बर्खामा 2 घण्टा हिउँमा 5 घण्टा लाग्छ अब अहिले गएर हामीलाई 65 मिनेटमा यहाँबाट पानी पुग्यो लोकल कम्युनिटीज आर अडाप्टिंग टु बिल्ड ए रेजिलिएन्ट इरिगेशन सिस्टम वाइल स्टिल युजिंग सम अफ द ओल्डर ट्रेडिशन्स एन्ड प्र्याक्टिसेस वाटर डिस्ट्रिब्युसन अमङ द युजर्स इज बेस्ड अन देयर ल्यान्ड होल्डिङ साइज एन्ड रेगुलर पार्टिसिपेसन इन मेन्टेनेन्स एन्ड अपरेसन अफ द इरिगेसन सिस्टम दिस डेमोन्स्ट्रेट्स गुड वाटर गभर्नेन्स एक्विटी एन्ड जस्टिस साइन्टिस्ट ह्याभ अग्री दट द क्लाइमेट चेन्ज विल इम्प्याक्ट द भोलुम अफ वाटर एन्ड देन द सिजनालिटी अफ वाटर सप्लाइ टु एग्रिकल्चर इन नेपाल व्हाट आवर स्टडी ह्याज फाउन्ड इन अर्गेली इज दट द फार्मर्स have been managing the local water irrigation system for the last 400 years by managing their institution by uh, ensuring a uh, full participation of the community and also uh, by conserving the water uh, and the irrigation system but in recent years the climate change has 
created some of the external uh, factors which is beyond the capacity of the uh, Argeli, uh, the community and, uh, and their institutions. However, Argali irrigation system does face some challenges. One major challenge is that the water source of Argali irrigation system lies in another VDC's jurisdiction, and thus it might be diverted by other users, reducing canal flow. Likewise, conservation of the forest area that lies in another VDC is immensely important for keeping away water sources of the canals from drying. And with climate change, frequent landslides, droughts and floods are increasing the risk to the system.